We have Mongolian President Sakhyajin Erbadorji. In 1945, Allied forces of the Soviet Union and Mongolia fought the Japanese troops in North China's Hebei province. Mongolian troops are also in today's parade. President Xi Jinping and his wife are walking together with foreign dignitaries and heads of international organizations attending today's parade. And this event is both celebratory and ceremonial. The last military parade of this scale was in 2009 to mark the 60th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. And this is the first time that such a military parade takes place on a date other than October 1st, that's National Day of China. Now we want to give you a little background information here. At the Shanghai Cooperation Organization UFA Summit in July, leaders of SCO member states issued a joint statement on the 70th anniversary of the victory in World War II. The leaders urged resolute opposition to any distortion of the results of the war, as well as any attempt to forget the tragic lesson for all mankind. The statement paid tribute to the soldiers and civilians, fallen and alive, who made contribution to the victory against fascism and militarism. Uh, to review China's military uh, might and also to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the end of the war, together with uh, leaders from other countries who have been invited to witness this event. Fourteen military parades have been held in Beijing since the founding of the People's Republic of China. Eleven were in Mao's era, and former leaders of the People's Republic of China each got one chance to inspect the army. Fired the gun salute. Altogether, there are 67 formations or representative teams to today's parade. Let's begin. From behind the lines, members represent those who provided essential support to Chinese soldiers, sending daily necessities including food and clothes, as well as secretly relaying news to the soldiers. This is the Mongolian formation. Lieutenant Colonel Bad Bagel Karshadin is leading the troop. Victor Day reminds us of the importance of remembering the past, remembering the experiences that shape our present day. Thank you. 